Half-life. Radioactive atoms decay by several methods so their nuclei can give off energy to become more stable. The rate of this decay is called the half-life. The half-life is defined as the amount of time it takes for half of the atoms in a sample of an isotope to decay into another element. The half-life is not an exact measurement because it is impossible to tell exactly when each atom decays. So it's what happens on average over a large sample of atoms of the isotope. This experiment will show you how decay really happens. When you flip a penny or our object here, there's a 50-50 chance that it will turn up heads and a 50% chance it'll turn up tails. If you assume a penny that lands tail side up results in nuclear decay, then one flip of the coins should result in 50% of the pennies landing tails and the equivalent of one half life. And so basically saying if I flip this, then 50% of these should decay with their tails up. This experiment will familiarize you with how nuclear decay really occurs and will help you become more familiar with half-life calculations. Our objective is to mimic a radioactive isotope's half-life by flipping our coins. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to start off with my 20. I've got my graph set up to where I have trial or time and column and the X column. And then I have daughter, daughter, or I can also, if I want to, instead I could do um, remaining. It doesn't matter if I do daughter or remaining, it'll still graph, okay? So when I start the initial trial, I have, um, this is trial one, no, zero, and I have 20 starting off, okay? And so now we're gonna do trial one, and we're gonna count how many are not decayed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so I've got eight that have not decayed. And so we're gonna repeat it. These here that have already decayed, I'm just gonna go over here. And now I'm gonna do it again with these. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, three have decayed. So I have five. So we're gonna do another round of it. Take these, put them back in. And I have two there left, three have decayed. And voila, they both decay. And sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're stuck where they won't decay, okay? So, the more trials that you get, the better your graph will look like. To get it connected like this, what I did is I went down here in the bottom corner and I said, edit graph options. I really should put a title on this. So if you are required to turn this in, then we wanna put a title here, okay? And I just say connect lines. Now I've got a title, and then if I want to look at best fit, I can apply curved fit, and I can actually look and say, hmm, I wonder what kind of fit this is. Well, let me try that. Oh, that looks pretty good. And I do encourage you to go through here and look to see what it is, okay? Because we're trying to go back to your math and connect that back up. So I won't tell you what it is, but again, you can sit here and you can method and try to find best fit. So that's what you do on the first round. Now, 
to get better data, um, I expect you to repeat this two more times, okay? And so to re repeat it for no time, you're gonna click up here and you're gonna say, add new data set. And it will carry those names over for you. And then we're gonna repeat this and we wanna see what happens as we do more trials, okay? I would also like you to name these, um, let's just call it um, trial one and this is with the 20, okay? Because you only have 20 objects you're flipping. Okay, okay for extensions. Um, if we have enough time, I really will encourage us to get the extensions done. On the extensions, we're gonna do more objects. And so either A, I will tell you that I want you to do this many objects as a full class, or B, I will give each group a different number of objects to flip. And then we want to compare our data and see, do we produce the same type of graph with the more flips that we do? Okay, so on this extension, and this is really for my absentee people, um, I've got 40 here, okay? And so again, I'm gonna put them in the cup. We're gonna start off in a perfect world. So for my absentee people, so you can see what's happening. And so again, we're gonna start with 40. This is trial zero, because we already start at zero, and we have 40. Okay, let's spread them out. Remember, we wanna keep the, the ones that have the stickers up. So, one, two. Let's throw out, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 remain. So we have 17. So we'll do trial two. We'll put them back in there. And we'll shake. Okay. Kicking out the ones that are heads down. Only keeping the ones that are heads up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight that time. Let's try all three. So kick out the tails down. One, two, three, and four. Got the four going to trial four. I only have one left. And it decayed. And so you'll repeat this at least uh, two more times because we want everything to be in three trials. And then we want to compare this back. To compare, we just simply come over here. We're gonna click and click. And now I can compare my graphs and see and ask myself, do they look similar?